Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I pray that you are doing well, that your life is prospering, uh, even as the scripture says that, you're, that you will prosper even as your soul prospers. And I know that as we enter in to study God's Word, He's going to bless us. That's just His nature. He loves for people to read His Word, study His Word, and obey His Word. And so when we have this time together, uh, that's basically what we're doing. We're learning of God. That's why we always go to him in prayer as we begin our studies, because he, we want him to teach us today. So if you will, pray with me. Heavenly Father, again, we rejoice in the fact that we have your word. We know and acknowledge that it's a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path. And Lord, we know that when we hide your word in our heart, we will not sin against you. And so we want to just bless you with this time today, acknowledge that you're with us, and ask you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth, and also, Lord, to empower us to live according to that truth. We just want to bless you today, Lord, and we ask you to bless our time together. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is, We Don't Know How He Sees. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 9, and verse 21. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus saw a man who was born blind and healed him by making clay, putting the clay in his eyes and having him wash in the pool of Siloam. The blind man's neighbors brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, He put clay upon my eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keeps not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. They said unto the blind man again, What do you say of him, that he has opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight, until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked him, saying, is this your son, whom you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. And in chapter 9 and verse 21 of his book, John shared how the parents continued to answer the Jews by saying, But by what means he now sees? We know not. Where we read, But by what means he now sees? We know not. Or who has opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. The verse reads, But by what means he now sees, we know not. Or who has opened his eyes, we know not. John began with the words, But by what means, which means, however, nonetheless, notwithstanding and moreover, in what way or manner he now sees, or he, their blind son, at this time has sight, we know not, which means we, the blind man's parents, are without knowledge, understanding, and perception. Or who has opened his eyes? Or, or what person has unfashioned and unloosed the blind son's physical eyes? John shared how the parents of the blind man were without knowledge of how their son was at this time with sight, and they were unaware of who was responsible for healing his eyes. The verse goes on to say, He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. John added the words, he is of age, which means he, the blind son, is of suitable maturity, term, length of time, and has attained a state fit for answering. Ask him, or question and inquire of him, the blind son. He shall speak for himself, which means he, the blind son, will utter, declare, proclaim, and answer for his own self. John shared how the formerly blind man's parents deferred to him to respond to the religious leader's question because he was of the age of maturity and could answer for himself. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how the parents of the man who was born blind were without understanding of how he was now able to see and they did not know who was responsible for giving him sight. They also wanted to dismiss themselves from the questioning of the Pharisees. We shall see why in our next verse. And they told them to ask their son who could answer for himself. There seems to be a great deal more attention about how this blind man could see rather than the fact that he now had his sight. God delighted in doing miracles through his son Jesus. 
so those who observe them would know he is indeed the Christ and Messiah of the world. Those who put their faith and trust in him will not only see spiritually, but also be forgiven of their sins and receive everlasting life with God. Let all who read and hear these words give their attention to the healer Jesus more than when, what, and how the healing occurred. Next time, John shares how the parents answered the Jews that way, uh, the ways because they feared the Jews. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.